Hi, and welcome to Visual 3D Basics. I'm Dan Bassett from BassettByMechanics.com, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to explain the concepts behind what Visual 3D Basics is so that you can understand how to use this course and understand how it's going to benefit you in your biomechanics lab. You see, typically in biomechanics labs, we have some kind of motion capture system. Traditionally, these motion capture systems use cameras. And we have our subject walk through the lab with the markers on, and our ultimate objective is to get the data out. So you may have different parameters that you're measuring, some graphs that you're trying to get out. The problem that ends up arising is there is a disconnect right here. How do we get from the motion capture data to our actual biomechanical data? Additionally, we want to be confident in that data as anybody can use Excel or MATLAB to play around with some numbers and get something out. But how do you know that that is the correct joint angle? How do you know that the joint moment is exactly what you wanted? This is why we've created this course, Visual 3D Basics, to get you started with this powerful software, Visual 3D. And Visual 3D fills in this gap. So it's no longer a question mark, and it's not a black box either, as uh, many within biomechanics have labeled Visual 3D as a potential black box. But this stems from not knowing the software very well as actually it is a very open software that tells you what it's doing and the documentation is available online. What we do is explore key features of Visual 3D necessary to automate your entire data processing and output the results you want. We do this in Visual 3D Basics. The other thing that we uh, do in Visual 3D Basics is offer you the option to use motion capture based on XSense inertial sensors, where it's a different type of motion capture technologically, but it is still motion capture. And we have had many requests through the years to use XSense data in Visual 3D. Now, Visual 3D Basics was designed to teach users how to take motion capture data and obtain biomechanical data out. That motion capture data now can come from an XSense system as well. And we're going to highlight how to do that as well. Most of the material is exactly the same because the infrastructure in Visual 3D is actually very simple to use and it applies to any type of motion capture data. So it'll, there will be a few different units to do the XSense modeling of your motion capture data to have a biomechanical model but then the calculations and reporting the data is all the same. So if you have an XSense system, make sure you check out those XSense specific units and the rest of it is exactly the same because the real big advantages of Visual 3D is that you end up creating your own biomechanical model. Each segment is created separately. Clearly, I should have considered a career in art, but you get the idea. Here we have our subject that has all these separate segments, and once we define them within Visual 3D, we treat them exactly the same, regardless of where the original data came from. Beyond being able to apply Visual 3D to multiple platforms, once you've created your biomechanical model, it can actually be shared across a variety of projects and between labs 
as long as your marker data or uh, you're consistently using an Accent system, as long as your original data is labeled the same, your biomechanical model will be created and you'll be able to work with the individual segments to obtain all of those graphs and parameters that we were referring to. So we encourage you to continue on in Visual 3D Basics to learn more about how to create biomechanical models, perform scientifically validated calculations, and then how to report your data or get your data out for further analysis, whether it be statistical or information for medical staff to uh, diagnose or pick which surgery is appropriate for a patient. So we hope to see you in the rest of Visual 3D Basics as we explore how to go through all that and automate your biomechanical data analysis.